Hello, I am Michael Vanderhart with KeepEmCrawling.com. Today I will be showing you how our 1918 John Deere Hoover potato planter plants. Originally this would have been horse drawn. Before we bought it, the front hitch had been converted over to be pulled by a tractor. As you see, I've got a jack stand under the back there so I can turn one of the wheels to show you how all the mechanics inside of it work. Have the potato bin here. Here's where we you dump all your potatoes in here. That's where it grabs out of to plant. You note this bed here moves back and forth as I turn the wheel. That's to help shake the potatoes down so that the impeller can pick them up. The impeller spins around, grabs the potatoes out of here, and brings them up through there. Where they fall out here, down this chute, and into the other hopper where the fingers pick them up to plant them at their specific distance. This planter right now is set up to plant a potato about every nine inches. I believe this gear on the side here is the one that changes that. You can make, they make different size gears for here so for 10 inches, 12 inches, 11 inches, whatever. So the potatoes fall down into here and it usually keeps about two, three handfuls down in here at a time. It has a little foot over here on the other side. Right here, if there gets too many potatoes down in there, it flips this foot, which pulls on this rod here and disengages the gear over here, which shuts this off for one revolution of these uh, planter needles so make sure it doesn't get too many potatoes down in the hopper here. So that as these, this spins around, they, it picks up the potatoes at the bottom here. These are spring loaded and it helps push the potatoes onto these fingers, needles here. As it then continues further around, this flips back to keep more than one potato from getting onto the needles at a time. The needles continue on around, and you'll see they hit this plate over here, that this here hits that plate. When it does that, it, push, it uses this here to push the potato off the needle. And it does that down here, which then drops it down one final shoot it comes out here and falls into the ground. Of course this is in an up position right now and I've got this wheel off the ground so it's not in the ground. But when it's all the way down the dirt runs at about right here. It plants the potatoes about six inches deep. And then after the potato falls into the ground comes back to these hillers Actually, they spin the other way, and they hill the dirt up. So in total, the potatoes end up probably 8 to 12 inches into the ground. You can adjust how deep it plants by the different teeth on it here. That's in the all the way up position. There's a row marker at the back here. You can flip off to either the, the left or the right. That scratches in the ground to show you where to put your next row. And you can also adjust this on the wood for what, how, whatever distance of, of rows you want. And of course the rope is just so you can flip it up and down from on the seat. I'm going to try and stick some potatoes in here to see if it will actually do it for you here. 
These are a couple of whole potatoes. We found if you cut them up a little, they go through better. These ones aren't too bad. You see these, these potatoes aren't all that big. So they're not too bad, but you get too big of potatoes and it won't go through. You just drop the potatoes down in here. As you turn the wheel, you see it'll pick the potato up. Brings it over here where the potato is then dumped down the chute and into this other hopper. As it spins around, it gets picked up. Let's see if it'll do it here. Forced into there where the needle pokes into it. Picks it up and brings it over. As the finger hits the plate there, forces the potato off the needle and drops it down to the ground. So that's how a 1928 John Deere Hoover potato planter plants potatoes. Thank you.